All right, let's do this again. We're going to do this a little bit faster this time, uh, and I'll bet we can probably get it a little more accurate. Uh, so I've practiced this. Uh, I want to start with a triangle at an angle. I know there's a box down here. That's kind of where his body meets his bottom part of the torso. I liked having those circles on the side here. Arm goes out. Extending all the way back here. I'll do kind of an oven mitt for the hand. Big old circle for that discus. And uh, I know his head is somewhere in the middle right here. It's kind of tilted so you can't really see the neck. Notice I'm very light. I'm hardly touching the paper. Always looking for those right shapes. Um, I know that over here, that's kind of where the hip is and uh, it comes down at an angle. That's where the knee is. Down back, it's actually a little more straight. And then down here I have a triangle. And the feet are always bigger than they look. There we go. Always a little bit bigger than they look. And later, I'll, I mean, I'll do it right now, I tend to just chop the end off and that's a pretty good start. Um, so I got this over here. I know that uh, there's another hip over here, kind of on the other side. You can't really see it, but his leg kind of comes back down, back over here. Leg comes down. There's another knee somewhere over here. It bends backward, and uh, we could do a triangle. But remember that this foot's kind of squashed on the ground. Okay, so triangle plus a rectangle. And now we're cruising. I'm liking this a little bit more than my other one. Remember this leg, I'll make it a little bit darker because I know that's in the front. Let's make that whole thing a little bit darker. Okay, let's not forget this arm. It's got a slight bend to it. And then the oven mitt's kind of over here. We got those oven mitt hands. So let's start giving it some more details. Let's start with the meat. Um, I'm gonna start with this arm, give it kind of a, a rectangle. This one's got another rectangle. It tapers in a little bit. Uh, for this hand, I'll do kind of a triangle with a, a little rectangle on the side. Big circle where that discus is, I'm nice and light with it. And over here, for the shoulders, uh, got the circle kind of going. Let's do a nice rectangle right here. Uh, another rectangle that kind of tapers in a little bit. It's pretty rectangular though. Nice and loose, nice and fast. And then uh, we can finally jump into the big meaty areas, the legs. Uh, let's ignore this hand for a little bit. I know it's back there someplace. Um, for the legs, uh, I'll, I'll try to keep it stiff, maybe a couple angles. I know when I when you first start drawing, you want to just do these big uh, ovals, but I like to keep it as stiff as possible. Um, I know that there's a steep, stiff line right there, and it kind of goes toward the knee. And then over here, you got the glutes. That's really like about one, two, three. It's really three, three lines. You, you're tempted to make it smooth, but it's actually pretty stiff. And you can always smooth things out in the end. Um, if it helps you as you go, you can erase some of your search lines. I like to kind of smudge them because then I can always just use my eraser to create some highlights later. Or if it's really distracting, you can get rid of some of that information so you can see what you're focusing on. But uh, let's get the bottom part of this leg in here. For me, it's pretty much a triangle. Okay. And right back here, I've got this leg in the back. You can kind of see it. There's a little bit. I'll do one, kind of two lines for that leg back there that's hiding. Let's get another triangle going here. 
And that's not so bad. I want to scooch my foot down a little bit because it looks kind of funny. There we go. Like I said, just kind of roll, roll with the punches. If something looks a little funny, make a slight adjustment here, slight adjustment there. Uh, if something's confusing you, uh, maybe lighten up a line. It's okay to get rid of those search lines. And we call them search lines for a reason. You're searching for shapes. They're not called solid lines. I use all these light search lines to find my basic form. And speaking of search lines, let's get this hand in the mix. Uh, I know it's kind of an oven mitt shape. So I'll start with, I would start with my thumb. Where's my thumb? What's it doing? I've got a thumb. It's uh, we'll keep it real simple. We'll do a rectangle and then an oven mitt over here. And that's looking pretty good. That's a good start. I can erase these lines if they're distracting, or I can always kind of soften them up by scrubbing. And I want to get this belly going here. I know there's a slight angle where it kind of folds over. His belly button's right there. And uh, his chest is kind of split up into a couple of rectangular shapes okay uh, and it almost folds in like so you can see his ribs kind of and there's actually a lot of meat back here that we didn't really get to imply so I want to get one line two lines that's where the lats are this is actually looking a little bit more convincing than my other one um, if I want to Get these legs a little bit bigger. I can do that just by bringing my lines out. Maybe I gotta drop my foot a little bit. There we go. Make that foot a little bit bigger. Seems like I've been struggling making my legs long enough. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm so drawn to these arms. No pun intended. Let's erase some of this stuff. The feet are always a lot bigger than you think they are. But you'll see that through building a figure with a lot of simple shapes, it's not as scary or difficult as you think it would be, right? Uh, I know for the head, it's an oval in that I like to crisscross where uh, the figure is looking. Halfway through is where the eye socket is. It's where the eyes hide out. So I like to make big shadows, kind of almost like sunglasses. Halfway through, I'll kind of just mark from the head to the chin where the nose is. Halfway from the nose to the chin, that's kind of where the lips are. I'll just shade the upper lip. Maybe just a simple short little line for the bottom lip. And then I can kind of come in here and start to give this guy a little bit more shape. Not so bad, not so bad. These big old feet. You drop this down a little bit. Do a little bit of erasing here and there. And the funny thing is, <laughs> I like this drawing better than the uh, other one I did moments ago. Sometimes you just gotta practice, practice, practice. Even me, I've been teaching for, been drawing for 30 years, and I learn something new every day. Um, I really enjoy the geometry in this, and I really enjoy counting the shapes. Sometimes I'll just sit here and count all the shapes that are in here. And once I feel pretty confident with it, I'll do this. I'll come in with a heavier pencil, put a little more weight on there, and uh, try to avoid the chicken scratchy drawing when you do this. A lot of students tend to draw like this. Um, be decisive, take longer strokes. As long as you're super light in the beginning, once you come in the end with a heavier pencil, practice doing long, straight lines if possible. And I think you'll be a little bit happier with your artwork. Uh, I've got this thumb over here. And uh, if it helps you, and I know it helps me, I'll, uh, 
put the I'll split up my oven mitt into some smaller uh, fingers. One, two, three, four. You got five fingers, uh, one of them being a thumb. So all I got to do for this bent hand right here holding this disc, one, two, three, four. Let's kind of split it up. And at worst, put some emphasis somewhere else so it pops a little bit. But that looks a little bit better. If I really want to make this uh, look awesome, I could actually get a circle and trace this. Uh, this hand over here is leaving me want, wanting a little bit more. So I can just go one, two, three. Split those fingers up into four parts. Yeah, good enough. We're just practicing. One, two, three, four. This hand in here a little bit more. And a great trick that I see a lot of students do is you can always hide the hand <laughs> uh, if you're if you're doing a drawing. F find opportunities to hide the hand, uh, and then always practice it on the side. Not so bad. Not so bad. Um, so our culminating project, the reason why we're practicing this, and I want to get the hair in here a little bit, is because uh, we're going to be working on creating our own superhero inspired by Greek mythology. So I want us to get familiar with drawing the human body. So let's see. Let's look at all these. I actually have quite a few of these. Um, this is number... Let's see. This is number one. I did this one first. Uh, and then I did this one, number two. Okay. And then I drew this one, number three. Uh, which I thought the arms are a little bit too long. And then I did this one, number four. Um, and this one was the quickest I did. I, you know what? I wanna, I'm so tempted to fix it up, but I just want to keep it simple. Let's do a little critique for myself. Uh, let's see which one is the strongest. This is tough. So we'll start with uh, number one. I probably put... Uh, that one's pretty darn good. Look at that. Pretty long arms. Um, still rather geometric. The top part's looking great. Uh, I feel like I'm rushing it a bit on the bottom. I think the legs need a little more love. I can always come in here and give it a little more muscle. Okay, so this is drawing one. False. <laughs> this is drawing one. And I think you can tell I was a little rusty here. I practiced right here. So this is drawing one. Drawing two, getting better. Drawing three, pretty darn good. I think we can still bring this hand in. A little bit more. There we go. Let's see. Oh, and the disc. Let's see, maybe if I bring that in a little bit, it'll make more sense. Ooh, that's better. Maybe a little bit skinnier here. Still pretty darn long. I think the legs are a little bit short, but it's okay by me. Got to break those fingers up. Just keeping it simple. And then drawing four, which I think in many ways this is probably my strongest one. Um, and I don't know why. I, I think this one's probably makes the most sense in terms of the size of the leg in comparison to the rest of the body. 
Maybe I'll give it a little bit of shading. Let's pop this up a little bit. Not so bad. Cool. Practice makes perfect. Uh, your goal is to draw at least three of these. I'm on like one, two, three, four, five. I think I drew about, including scribbles, I probably did about ten total. But uh, allow yourself to draw on your paper, right? Um, make a whole bunch of little drawings. See how many times it takes to get it right. Even if you're drawing super fast, uh, practice, 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 and finding opportunities to draw the human figure is going to really help you for your superhero project, which is coming up next week. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Draw it light until you get it right. And if you have to do a bunch of little guys to get the big one right, go for it. But keep it simple. Keep it loose. Keep it fast. And you'll see the more that you do it, the less scary it is. That was actually a pretty good scribble. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe a little bit more meat on this leg. Once again, my feet are a little bit small. Always draw your feet and hands bigger than you think they are. I need to work on my legs because they tend to be a little bit short. Okay. Draw away. Have fun. Photograph your work and upload it into your portfolio. And have an awesome day. Bye, everybody.